Hey guys, it's Megan. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these perler bead bowls. And these are perfect for Halloween or Christmas. They would be really cool for Christmas gifts, I think. And they're super easy to make. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So first you'll need some perler beads. And I'm using these perler biggie beads that I had from a previous project. But you can also use the smaller perler beads. You'll also need some cooking spray and a glass bowl. First, you'll just want to generously coat the inside of your bowl with some cooking spray. And then you'll just want to start placing your beads on the bottom of your bowl. And make sure that your design has the beads placed like this instead of placed like this. Because if you do it every other like this one, it'll work, but the other way won't work because I tried it and it was a total fail. So definitely just make keep that in mind. And so I decided to do a jack-o'-lantern shape and I just did this freehand, but you could also use a pattern. And if you wanted to, especially with the smaller perler beads, you could make it on a pegboard first and then iron only one side and then place it in the bottom of your bowl. Just make sure that the pegboard has the pegs placed like I showed you guys earlier. So I just started out by making the eyes and the nose and the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern and then filling around the edges with some orange beads. And for the sides of the bowl, I did an alternating pattern of purple, black, white, and green. So here's what my bowl looked like when I was done placing the beads in there. And by using the cooking spray, it helps the beads stick to the edges, but it also helps the bowl be able to like get out of the other bowl once you're done cooking it. Once you're happy with your design, you're going to want to bake the bowl in the oven at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. And as you can see, since we sprayed the inside with cooking spray, our perler bead bowl just pops right out of there. And the cooking spray will leave kind of like a greasy residue on the bowl, so to get that off, just wash your bowl with some soap and water. And then your perler bead bowl is done. And you can also do this with the normal size perler beads, but if you do, I would definitely recommend using the technique that I mentioned earlier, where you make it on a pegboard first and iron one side for your bottom design because that would just make it so much easier. I did this without doing it, but next time I think I would definitely do that. And if you have longer nails like me, I found it helpful to put the beads on the end of a toothpick and then put it in there like I'm showing you guys right here. And this just made it so that I wouldn't knock over the other beads when I was trying to put in the, these beads. And just like before, you're going to want to build up the sides until you're happy with the size of the bowl and then put it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 375. And I found that this bowl needed a little bit less time than the other one. It needed 15 minutes, whereas the bigger one needed 20 minutes because the beads on this bowl are a lot smaller. And here's what the smaller bowl ended up looking like. And I'm really happy with this. I think it's really cute. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to leave me a comment down below on which bowl was your favorite. I'm kind of torn, honestly. Like, I like them both. I kind of like the small one, though. Um, it did take a lot longer to make that one, though. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram, Musical.ly, Tumblr, and YouNow. And I also just made a Funimate account. And all of those usernames are at WellerMegs. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!